I'm uh, Peter Hazi, uh, DBM CCRP. I'm at Cary Animal Hospital in Arlington Heights, Illinois. So I picked up some Betty Gel at the conference in Kansas so, uh, since August. And since August, I've used Betty Gel uh, probably a dozen times now. And I've used lots of other hemostatic products and just not really finding anything that works consistently well. Uh, Betty Gel has is awesome for, for me now as far as the, need, uh, the things that I need it for for uh, hemostasis. Uh, the first and most dramatic case I had was a dog I had done a biopsy on its distal femur. So I did a, bo a bone biopsy on a bone retriever. It turned out to be an osteosarcoma. And while biopsying that with a, about a six millimeter tree fine, it bled like a fountain and just pressure and cautery and nothing, nothing would really work. I squished the Betty gel in there and I put my finger on it. And about 20 seconds later, it was done bleeding. It worked great. The, uh, I didn't remove the product. Uh, it stayed right where it was supposed to be. I closed the wound with the product in there. Healed great, no problems whatsoever. Um, prior to getting the Betty gel in there and stopping the, the, the hemorrhage, that dog probably let, lost about 30 cc's of blood through that one small incision. That was a really bloody tumor. Uh, the other applications that I've used Betty gel for have been uh, mostly dental. Um, dental procedures, I do a lot of extractions. I do a lot of extractions on big dogs, fourth upper premolars, um, a lot of bleeding in those uh, infected upper fourth premolar teeth. And Betty Gel just stops that bleeding almost immediately so that I can close it and clean it up and close it really easily. Um, makes my suturing of that wound a whole lot nicer. I think it makes the recovery a little bit nicer for that patient as well, uh, just because now they don't have um, cautery, they don't have any other products kind of jamming around in there. Um, for dental extractions, the other hemostatic products that I've used in the past, I have really just given up on and just gone with pressure and time because they just tend not to work very well for me. Betty Gel has been a game changer as far as uh, a dental hemostasis. Uh, just a couple of days ago, we did a uh, 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 Doge de Bordeaux, big, huge mastiff. We removed a lot of uh, excessive epulis from that dog's mouth. Um, there are a few spots of that, even using laser, even using electric cautery. There's, of course, when you remove that stuff, those things tend to bleed an awful lot. Uh, Betty gel on those surfaces stopped the bleeding virtually immediately, made it really easy for that uh, wounds to be closed and that dog to recover from that as well. Um, the other time I used it, which was actually awesome because it's uh, the alternatives are terrible, and you actually just post a video about this, is I've used it on a hemilaminectomy as well. So once in a while I get that hemilaminectomy that just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds, um, and you try to get the bone wax in there, you try to get the other hemostatic products in there, and they just don't do it. Uh, just like in the video you, you, you showed, I put the Betty gel in there, I looked at the clock for a few minutes, came back and it would had, had been done bleeding. Um, that's a game changer for that procedure because oftentimes when you're trying to get that small uh, artery that, that uh, uh, intervertebral artery to stop bleeding, you're using bipolar cautery, which is dangerous. And you'd really rather not go zapping around in there. So Betty Gel for that particular application was awesome. I saw it at the conference. It sounded like a great product. It was a great application. Um, also looking for something because the other hemostatic products just don't work very well any more better than, really it doesn't seem much more better than pressure. So. Um, it seemed, it seemed like a great thing to use. Uh, lots of good applications for it.